A look at Queen's Park tonight, where the end is near for Ontario's college strike. Politicians are set to spend the weekend rubber stamping the government's back to work bill after another contentious day in the legislature. All across the province, students and staff are scrambling to prepare with a possible return to class coming as early as Tuesday. Let's go straight to CTV's Miranda Anthesel, who is live at Queen's Park tonight. Miranda. Well, the ride of the back to work legislation hit another roadblock today, but all the parties did agree to work through the weekend. They'll be back here at Queen's Park from 1 to 6 p.m., both tomorrow and Sunday. Why are you blocking this legislation? Frustrations boiled over at Queen's Park today as the NDP once again put a stop to passing legislation that would put an end to the college teachers' five-week strike. Nobody would um, sign a contract without even looking at it. Nobody would buy a car from a used car salesman, as was said earlier by someone else, uh, without reviewing what that car looked like. I needed to look at the legislation. The new Democrats won't support legislation they say takes away workers' rights, but the Liberals say students have been through enough. This is outrageously disappointing. This is this is cruel what they're doing to students right now. But the half a million students and 12,000 faculty members could soon be back in school as early as next week, with the legislation being debated throughout the weekend. If it's passed on Sunday, classes could resume on Tuesday. Still, it's little consolation to these students. I blame them for not settling it earlier since they already knew that they were going to have a discussion. So why did they wait until we were in our school year to the RD start doing this is kind of ridiculous. For Kathleen Wynn to say, you know, I'm just going to let it all happen out, you know, for me, I feel like it's pretty calculated for the election next year. And the president of the College Teachers Union is also calling out the Liberals, saying they're playing dirty. That is one of the most egregious acts of political theater I've seen in a long time. The Liberals ought to be ashamed of themselves. Once classes have resumed at Ontario's 24 colleges, schools will likely extend the semester until late December or use the first week back in January to finish the fall term. But those impacted the most are taking their frustrations to social media. One student writing, Kathleen Wynne, are you not listening to the constant pleas that are being made? Students are in no condition to continue slash finish the semester, mentally, financially or academically. Do not put us through any more difficulty. The strike has been more than enough. Another tweets, cancel the semester. The quality of education has been impacted beyond repair at this point. Five weeks of missed material plus material we still have to learn. Many students are now demanding tuition refunds. And the provincial government has ordered the colleges to set up a fund using the savings from the strike, and that will go towards helping students that are experiencing financial hardship because of the strike. Deb Matthews estimates that about $5 million has been saved over the past five weeks. Reporting live at Queen's Park, I'm Miranda Anthesol. Zoraida, I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Miranda.